It all started a while ago when I found myself trapped in a box. I had lost my mojo. I realized I was in a bad relationship with my notebook. You see, I didn't like her corporate branding and I didn't like her wearing someone else's artwork. There was something else too. She had lines on every page. She reminded me of my old notebook that just had dots. And then there was my other notebook. But after a while, I felt really boxed in with this one too. There was this one I really liked. Wow, what perfect white pages. But then one day I found myself with nothing to guide me spinning out of control. That's when I knew I had to get out of the box. I'm a finely tuned race car in the open road. I need options. I need my freedom. I started to flex my mind again. My pen found new life. And that's when I met Roxy, a unique paper made from stone. This unique paper does not use a single tree in its production. It doesn't use water or toxic bleach either. This paper is smooth and your pen just glides across like silk. It's also tear resistant, grease resistant, perfect for recipes in the kitchen. It cuts easily and bosses crisply. And oh yeah, check this out. It's waterproof too. I took this paper and I combined it with what I loved about all my old notebooks. I added options for fold out pages to double the canvas. Coil bindings that let you add or remove pages and to make sure it lays flat. I made the cover blank so you can create whatever cover you want. And some rewards come with countless templates so that you can add any page options you want. The more I used it, the more productive I got. I used it for my mind maps, for sketching my ideas. I tweaked one of the fold-out pages to make a pocket for my notes. My mojo was back, but there was one thing missing. And that's where you come in, my fellow Renaissance men and women, inventors, note-takers, gamers, and race cars. In order to rev this engine, we need friends to tell friends, and to pass the Kickstarter hat to get the initial order of raw paper, coil bindings, and the skilled labor to put it all together. In the end, I realized it wasn't them, it was me. But I couldn't see it until I got out of the box.